Do birth control pills cause birth defects if taken during early pregnancy? Taking combination birth control pills or mini pills, progestin only birth control pills, during early pregnancy doesn't appear to increase the risk of birth defects. While some research has suggested a link between the use of birth control pills near conception and an increased risk of low birth weight, preterm delivery or congenital urinary tract abnormalities, these concerns generally haven't been observed in clinical experience. However, if you do conceive while taking the mini pill there's a slightly higher chance that the pregnancy will be ectopic, when the fertilized egg implants outside the uterus, usually in a fallopian tube. Keep in mind that it might be difficult to recognize that you're pregnant if you conceive while taking the mini pill because nausea, breast tenderness and irregular menstrual bleeding, common signs and symptoms of pregnancy, are also possible side effects of the mini pill. As a precaution, if you suspect you're pregnant take a home pregnancy test. If the home pregnancy test is positive, stop taking the pill. If taking a home pregnancy test isn't possible, stop taking the birth control pill until the pregnancy is confirmed or ruled out. In the meantime, use another method of birth control, such as condoms. If you're concerned because you took birth control pills before you knew you were pregnant, talk to your health care provider, but be assured that there's little risk. Is implantation bleeding normal in early pregnancy? Implantation bleeding, typically defined as bleeding that occurs 10 to 14 days after conception, is normal and relatively common. Implantation bleeding is thought to happen when the fertilized egg attaches to the lining of the uterus. Implantation bleeding usually occurs around the time you would expect to have a menstrual period. However, implantation bleeding generally lasts for a short time and is usually much lighter than menstrual bleeding. Some women don't experience implantation bleeding and others don't notice it. It's also possible to mistake implantation bleeding for a period. If this happens, you might not realize that you're pregnant, which can lead to mistakes when determining a baby's due date. Implantation bleeding stops on its own and doesn't require treatment. If the bleeding persists or you're concerned about any vaginal bleeding during pregnancy, contact your health care provider.